Hello. Hi. We have been in Guatemala for three months so far, and we did a visit to our local corner store. And I went homeward to try a little bit of our Guatemalan snacks. So, first, what you like to try first? Let's try salty first. So, we're going to start with this one. Son tortillitas. It's a mixture. Okay. Not sure what that means, but okay. Hey, these aren't bad. What does it taste like? It's kind of like Chinese rice chips mm -hmm. with a pork flavor to it. Yeah, it does taste like that. Mmm, there's something else different here. Looks like foam. It's supposed to be chicharrón. Yeah, I don't like that one. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Tortrix. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. This one's good. You like them? It tastes like... Uh, what's that brand called? Fritos with lemon and salt. This is good. This is very good. I'm keeping this. Mmm. No. That's good. I want to eat too. Okay, we got it. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna scoop it into our hand. <laughs> okay. They're like nachos. What do you think of it? Mmm. Those are solid. Do you know what these taste like? Mmm. These are really good. These are like the original Doritos. Mm -hmm. Cheese. Yeah. Mmm. But you know what? Okay. So it's got the Dorito cheese flavor, but underneath that flavor layer, you get this nice corn tortilla flavor. So it tastes like tortillas that you buy at the local tortillera. What is that? Tortilleria. What she said. Coco approved. So let's jump to the sweet. People. What does that mean? They smell and feel like arrowroot cookies. Does it taste like them? Mm, mm hmm. They should like cookies for babies. Thanks, Alan. Yeah. Cocoa fruit. Cocoa fruit. So the original ones are plain, like vanilla. But these ones, picnic, are strawberry. Oh, these look like the cheap cookies that you buy at like Walmart. The wafer cookies. Oh, that smells really good. It's really thick. Pure sugar. Cheers. Mmm, I don't like this one. Oh. Uh, uh, not good at all. They taste stale. Yeah. There's no crunch to it. <laughs> no. These ones are cheeky. Galletas cheeky. Okay. So when I was little, there was this commercial about these cookies and how are you supposed to eat them? How are you supposed to eat them? Everyone will say, boca arriba, boca abajo. Mouth up or mouth down? Which part is the mouth? It's just like up or down. The chocolate is considered up. Up. Okay. Yeah. And like this is down. Okay. So what's the answer? How are you supposed to eat it? There is no correct answer. Um, it feels solid. It feels like a good cookie. Mm, memory. School. These are good, but you know what you need with this? Chocolate milk. Okay, I was just going to say regular milk, but chocolate milk, yeah. <laughs> okay. One more? Um, why not? <laughs> mm. 
Cocoa fruit. <laughs> Cocoa fruit. <laughs> okay. So in the side, it says granada. Bon appetit. Mmm. How does it taste like? Do you have something similar in it? No. It tastes like the texture of what this thing is supposed to be, covered in chocolate. I want to buy something like that. I've cheated. I've already had this one before. And they are awesome. Oh, I should probably show it to you first. Is he hungry or what? Bisping. Okay. Mm. You can see the layers. Like it has the double of the other one. You like it? Next one I choose. When I was little, I used to hate these chocolates. Polo. And I remember I really used to hate them. But then I grew up and this was like delicious. And then I grew up and hey, I like it. <laughs> Is it weird or what? <laughs> so let's see if you like it. The texture is kind of interesting. Okay, let's see what it says first. Polo, the pole. Malvadisco? Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Ah, and gaeta con cobertura. What is that? And cookie cover. Ah, it's covered with something. Oh, okay, so you can feel the marshmallow. It's just marshmallow covered in white chocolate. And a cookie. The cookie is like literally a millimeter. Look, this one's okay. I love this one. <laughs> I really like it. Okay. I don't like marshmallows though. I like this one. None of these really look appetizing. No, I know. They're pure sugar. We have a nougat, nougat, nugget. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. And? Botoneta. Hey, it's got English. It says best. Color and artificial flavor. Yeah, it's not the best for your health, but okay, delicious. Let's, let's try this one. Let's try this one. It's upside down. Oh no. Mmm. Mm. What is it? The chocolate tastes super fake, but it's very similar to if you're from Canada, you, you'll you'll get this shut up. It tastes like a Smarties. Smarties in Canada, they look like these, just slightly bigger. They look like M&Ms, really. And it's just chocolate covered with a, a hard sugar shell that's dyed in different colors. Mm -hmm. Basically M&Ms, but these taste super fake. <laughs> hey, you know, these ones are pretty popular. Okay, next one. <laughs> no more? No. This is pure sugar. Let's try this one. There, okay. One first bite. What the heck is this on? Just try Jelly it. candies. Just try it. No. I like sugar, but this kind of sugar is... <clears throat> Sorry. You don't like it? No. I love it. And I don't like sweets. It tastes like strawberry, okay? But it's got this extra flavor of just fake. <laughs> it does. It does. And then you have this jelliness that doesn't help the sensation. The texture it's is just true, weird. It's true, it's true. Well, I don't like it. She likes it, that's okay. Okay, last one. This one is called... Goma Pino. It's very squishy. It's like a jelly candy, like a jelly worm, covered in little sugar crystals. This does not look good. Just try. Why are you open it like that? Because it rips. Mmm. It's actually pretty good. How are you? Mm. We have something like that somewhere back home. Forget the name. But I remember growing up, we would go to like the local corner store, the local convenience store, the local gas station, and they would always have 5 cent candies, 25 cent candies, those were the good ones, the 25 cent candies. And they would always have these ones. Those are good. You like them? Mm-hmm. Okay, which one was your favorite? Ta-da! The nachos and the nachos with lime. These two are by far the best. Something you need to know is the prize. This is one cube. His favorite one is one cube. So, 
But 7.5 cues is approximately one American dollar. So that's like what? I can't math right now. 10, 15 cents? Maybe 20 cents tops? That's really good. Let's see what we have next week. Bye-bye.